Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and today I want to take you guys thrifting with me. So as I mentioned on my previous video, I am currently uh, making over my bedroom right now. And so I want to see if I can find some kind of, you know, um, decor that is within the theme that I am doing my bedroom on. So uh, I probably will take you along with me to ARC as well as Goodwill. So without further ado, let's see what we can find. Let's go. Hi, my name is Rose. I'm a wife, a mom, a creative soul with a passion for all things home. Through room makeover, DIY projects, thrifting for home decor and organization, come join me in this journey as I transform our house, room by room, into a place that we call home. Sometimes all a space needs is a little TLC to make it functional and cozy. So let's all design and create a happy place. Our first stop here is Goodwill and went on the first aisle and I was surprised to see um, a whole bunch of, you know, paint and paint materials such as this painter's tape right here and brushes and rollers because I've been to this Goodwill for um, you know several times and not once did they ever carry any um, you know paint interior as well as exterior paint so um, the paint brand is I believe called Green Sheen which is what I have seen when I typically go to like Habitat for Humanity uh, thrift store, but never at Goodwill. So again, was so surprised to see this, you know, material uh, being sold at Goodwill. They also had, you know, light bulbs, like plenty of them. And I believe these were like $4.99 per box. I don't know if that's really a good deal or not. And of course, uh, moving on to the, you know, I, what I call the wire baskets uh, aisle. So I'm looking for like a wire basket that I can hang on a wall. Um, and trying my luck to see if I can find that particular one today. Uh, so just kind of going through everything uh, that they have here. And then this like tin uh, metal plates I've never seen before, um, but it obviously, as you can see here, has, you know, um, some type of artwork painting um, on it. I was actually close to, uh, well, I thought about getting them because I was like, maybe I can kind of use this for like a gallery wall or something, but... I don't know, um, I thought that each scenery would be different, but there were like so many duplicates. So I just didn't have enough and I decided not to uh, get these. You know, I keep finding these like drawer utensil organizer. This would be great for like a bathroom um, organizer, like bathroom drawer organizer as well as like a vanity.
and then I spotted this gold uh, frame right here which I'm you know been I've been collecting for a gallery wall that I'm gonna do sometime in the future and honestly guys I regret not getting this artwork for some reason I don't know why I put it back but now you know on my way home I wish that I would have grabbed it and then in the same aisle, of course, they had the baskets and I'm looking for, you know, anything that I can use to cover or for actually planters. Those are great for that, but they didn't have much in stock though. And then moving on to the art and um, you know wall frames um, again I'm in the hunt for any type of like gold or you know gold frames um, as well as the art piece um, specifically looking for some kind of like landscape type of art piece um, so we'll see if I can find that here, but it doesn't look like I will because there are, I mean, I can't even really spot any uh, gold frames here that I'm looking for. This basket is so cute to hang on a wall, but I just don't know what to put in there. And just going through and scheming through their, you know, greenery aisle, see if, you know, I can find anything that I can use. And I always like to look at also the pottery aisle, you know, all of their glass, um, clay, ceramic bases that they have. And then this one is a great find. Um, I love the ribbing uh, texture on this and the design. Um, I think this one is $4.99 and it's also from Crate and Barrel. It ha does have this little chip here, but I figured if I can just, you know, paint it, that will go away. And then of course you can find many, you know, mixing glass uh, bowls at thrift store. That one that I was holding is one that I already have in my collection. Actually, it's this set right here. Um, and I do have, I think it comes in three or four. So I have that ribbing uh, bowl, mixing bowl from Pyrex. And then these two 
are a bit, um, you know, it's similar to what I have already, but you know, $3.99 just for one, I don't know about that. And I usually like to run my fingers um, around the rim just to feel for any, you know, chip or crack or anything like that when I get, you know, anything that's like glassware or, you know, mixing bowls that are glass, made of glass. I'm not really in the hunt for any, you know, plates or anything like that, dinnerware, but I still like to look to see what they have here. Now these bowls are a great size, reminds me of the one um, that I have already and for $1.99 that's not too bad and it's an orange tag and on this day it was like 50% off. Then now moving on to ARC, um, I basically went through all of the different aisles that I normally go to and I didn't really find anything there like the wire act or the, um, I mean the wire racks um, or aisle um, so I just went to all of the basically where all the dinner you know glassware are and as you can see here looking through the mugs that they have I want to see if I can find you know a collection Now these ones are great. It's coming off as like more gray, but it's act actually bluish gray, which, you know, reminds me of my interior colors. So I may actually grab these ones. Oh my gosh guys, how cute are these with like different owl designs on them. And then lastly, I like to go through like the books, looking for any type of vintage ones. Um, I like to basically just see what I can find here. Um, usually I look for, you know, um, anything that's with like art related, um, any type of novel. I like to look for, you know, books for my daughter as well. Um, like this one right here, Mary Poppins. Um, I like to <laughs> take out the cover because um, I want to see like the color and the hardbound um, cover of it. And then I spotted these two right here. One is this painting um, and it does have this kind of like light blue hard cover um, that I'm looking for. Um, but we'll see if I'll end up um, getting it.
And then lastly, this book is a great find as well, but you know, anything um, related to Van Gogh, all of his paintings uh, collection, but for $9.99, I don't know about that. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you like the content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing as I would love to see you back in my channel. So then um, next week, please stay tuned as I will be sharing with you guys what I found at ARC as well as Goodwill Thrift Store. So until then, I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.